A girl from the town of Geddes had her wish come true. We've introduced you to six-year-old Kaylee Marshfield before. If you remember, she had a rare form of cancer in her kidneys. And last month, doctors said she was cancer-free. And thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, she's finally feeling like a kid again. News Channel 9's Josh Martin has her story. Six-year-old Kaylee Marshfield has a love for... Leggings! We've documented her battle with cancer these past few months. After becoming officially cancer-free just a month ago, Kaylee dreamed of going to Legoland in Florida. This is the most energy Kaylee has had during one of our interviews. Months of chemo used to drain her physically, but now her big smile and laughter are constant. Things are starting to get back to normal. <laughs> She's being super silly today. That excitement of hers overflowing as she told us her dream came true. She got to go to Legoland and see Harry Potter World last week. You two are Hufflepuffs. Yeah. Through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Kaylee and her parents spent a family vacation in Florida. Kaylee lived in a hotel of Legos and was selected into Gryffindor House at Harry Potter World, who, much like the character himself, are known for their bravery. And her bravery is going to be needed again. Kaylee has to undergo one last procedure. She's got her final surgery coming up this Monday uh, to remove her port. So she'll be completely done with everything. In January, Kaylee will be back kicking in karate class with all her friends. Yes. Onondaga County Sheriff's deputies arrested three people, Earl Woodridge, Nicole Dunn, and her husband, Roger, a few weeks ago. Now, if you recall, while Kaylee was battling cancer, her family had several fundraisers to help raise money to cover medical costs. Deputies say these three used Kaylee's story to scam people out of hundreds of dollars in cash, starting just days after we introduced you to her back in October. We've learned there are more suspects out there as police continue to investigate. As for the three that were arrested, they're out on bail as they wait to see if they'll be indicted for those scamming charges.